hi guys thanks for taking the time to watch this video lesson i will be teaching about mitering your corners now sometimes when you do projects that you have two hems meeting you can either flat stitch the one over the other the bottom over the side or the side over the bottom or you can do a mitered corner by far a mitered corner usually gives you a more clean and tailored look so let's get to it i will be using this piece of fabric to teach you how to do the mitered corner i will be using two inch hems just so that you are better able to see what i am doing what i'll do is start measuring to make a double hem so i am measuring four inches and then i will fold over to get the half which will be two inches bottom line if your fabric is cut square and you're not dealing with lots of fabric when you measure one end of your fabric the rest of the fabric should line up nicely on the other side so i'll go ahead and i'll iron yes i iron whenever i'm doing seams or hems because it does help it makes your job easier so you just press those <laughs> seams in or those lines in and you will be better able to handle what you're doing so i have four inches here i'll open now and i'll fold back to the line and i'll press in so doing, I'm getting my two inch hems. Then I'll fold back and just go ahead and press again. So let's call this the bottom hem. Next, we'll do the side hem. I do use pins sometimes, but if it's not necessary, I don't. It's just a short run. And so I don't necessarily need pins here. So for the side, I'll do the same. I'll fold the fabric four inches in. And it lines up nicely on the other side because I cut the piece of fabric square. Go ahead and press. If you have a longer run, then you'll want to pin before you press. So you would measure, pin, and then press. I'm going to open this back out and then I'm going to fold to the line that I pressed in. I'm going to press. Fold it back. And press again. Now I could stop here and take this to the sewing machine, stitch along hair and stitch along hair or just hem instead of flat stitching. However, as I said, a mitered corner makes your project look way more tailored. So let's open the folds and you should be able to see the lines. However, what I'll do is I'll use a fabric crayon and I'll just put lines where I have the pressed lines so that you can better see it on camera there we go so 
So here I have all my lines. The next thing to do is where the two folds intersect at this juncture and this juncture, I will draw a line across. So just make sure you join them. Um, I'll take it closer and I'll let you see where the lines intersect here and here we're going to draw a line across here so you just have to make sure you line up your straight edge nicely and then draw your line Take the pins out and go ahead and cut this piece of fabric off. We're cutting this corner off. Now we're going to take the fabric and we're going to fold in half just across where we just finished cutting. And this lines up nicely. I'll just put a couple of pins in. So we are making a mitered corner. I'll just flip the fabric like so. And where we have our line on the inside here, we will measure, this is an inch and a half. So we take the measure over to this end and we measure just like so, line it up right on the corner and measure an inch and a half in, then get the straight edge and draw a line from this point across. So this is going to be our stitching line. However, we are doing a double hem. So our stitching will stop right here. It doesn't go all the way to the end. It stops right here where these lines intersect. And I'll just go ahead and stitch. Then we can take the pins out. After you have stitched your corner, you can then go ahead and just put a line across here and cut all this fabric off because it's useless. And what it will do is just make your corner more bulky then we can put a little notch right here and then just iron down on the inside here the whole point is to open the seam And then, now the seam's opened, we go ahead and we flip our mitered corner inside out. I'll just use my scissor to poke out the very end there. And that's it. We have a mitered corner. So you can see the reason why we didn't stitch further than here is because it's a double hem. So now we will fold this part back here and we will fold back here and we have ourselves a mitered corner
it's all done all you have to do is hem along here or you can just take it to your sewing machine and flat stitch down to here and across here and your corner will look lovely thanks so much for watching this video lesson and for sticking with me to the end if you learned anything from it if you like the video please subscribe and share and do check out the channel there's a lot there for you to learn you take care now and i'll see you in the next video lesson don't forget to subscribe now